Hello, my name's Emily Gravett and I'm an author and an illustrator and every Thursday I am teaching you how to draw the character from one of my books and I have been reading out my books on a Tuesday and this Tuesday I read a book called Wolf Won't Bite and Wolf Won't Bite obviously is about a wolf but it's also about three little pigs and they are very kind to the wolf. So I thought today, rather than drawing the wolf, we're going to draw one of the pigs. I thought maybe we would try and draw this pig. And what we're going to do, we're going to need some materials. So I'm going to show you what materials you might need to draw this pig. And then if you pause the video, you can go and get them. So I think that you are going to need a pencil. Ooh! I don't think my desk is very straight. A pencil, possibly a rubber. Don't always need a rubber. Possibly a couple of paint brushes. If you want to use paint. If you don't have any paint or you don't want to use paint, you can use felt tip pens. And if you're using felt tip pens, probably it would be a good idea to have maybe pale pink and maybe red or any other colours if you want a funky coloured pig that's fine and I'm using watercolours so my watercolours are in a palette like this they're actually they come in little tubes like this but I realise a lot of you probably won't have watercolours that look exactly like this so any watercolours that you have you can use them it doesn't really matter very very much so have we got all of that stuff okay so we're going to start <sighs> got dog hair as well i think so we're going to start by drawing the shape of the pig with the pencil and i like to start on her head so she, this little pig sort of has let me just move that up a bit this little pig has a top of the head like this so she goes down at the back can you see that? And her head makes a little curve like that. And the front of her nose, we're going to draw that next, is a bit like a triangle. Can you see the triangle? And underneath the triangle, we're going to make a little smile. How are you managing? This one's a little bit more complicated than the last draw along we did. We make a little chin that goes in a little bit and then we're going to do a sort of round belly that can go all the way around to make a round bottom like that how are we doing you're keeping up this one is a little bit tricky i have to admit so this is a little dancing pig so we're going to do sort of almost like little triangular legs so if you do almost like a triangle but in the bottom you know like pigs have little trotters they have little bring it up little doubly bits that go down like that okay put that in the middle so that's one leg there and she's a sort of ballerina pig so we can do another triangle trotter out this end like so and she's going to have her arms out to either side so they're more or less little triangles that go out the side with little trotters on as well one little trotter out that side, one little trotter out that side, that's very good. And her ears, we could do ears that go like this, like a leaf shape, a big, quite a big leaf shape, that's a bit big. And I'm going to do the other ear bent over. And if I'm going a bit too fast, just pause. The video and catch up it doesn't matter now i'm going to have my little pig with her eyes shut so i'm going to do it like a, a small l just like an l and you're going to put a little eyebrow above and her nose her nostrils just going to put two sorts of little lines in there and i'm going to rub out the lines that are in between her body and her arms and in between her legs 
and her body. Can you see that? Now, in my book, she's wearing a tutu. So we could do that. So what we're going to do, let's have a think. We do the top of the tutu. It's like a little wobbly line because it's like frilly and lacy in a little V that comes down and little armholes that go around her armpits like that. And then where her waist would be. Think about where her belly button would be and then draw a little sort of waist on that. And then from either side of her, we're going to do a wavy line. And that's going to be the start of her tutu. Whee! Like that. And then a bit of a line on either side. You can draw out her bottom line and rub out those. And then draw the wobbly line back in again. And some extra lines on the edge. And we're going to do her piggly wiggly curly tail. Along the bottom. How are we doing? What do you think? Does yours look anything like that? Remember, it doesn't really matter. Like I always say, it doesn't really matter if yours looks like mine because it would be your pig and not my pig. See, no one draws pigs just exactly like me and I don't draw pigs exactly like you and that's so fine. Okay, so I'm going to colour her in. Now, to colour her in, I'm going to use a paintbrush. I've got a paintbrush and I'm going to use my palette and I am going to... I'm going to get a little bit of sort of black colour maybe but just really water down so you can put a bit of water in water it down and just test it on the edge of your paper somewhere where you're not going to see it or even an extra bit of paper see what colour it is well that's okay and I'm going to put a bit of shading in so sort of down her sides under her skirt, on the front of her nose, maybe in her ear crease, around her eye, the bottom of her arms maybe. Just a little bit of shading makes her a little bit, little bit rounder and you can maybe do a wavy line on her tutu. I'll put that down so you can see it. There we go. And actually what's quite fun is because you want her to look like she's standing on something, you just do a very pale bit there and she's on a shadow, which looks quite good. And then rinse your brush and I'm going to get a bit of white paint and put it in, make it a bit liquidy. And then a tiny, tiny dab of red paint. And I'm going to make a very, very pale pink. And then over the top of it all, I'm going to use the pale pink to colour her in. Very, very pale. You might be doing this with a felt tip pen and that's okay as well. I'm going to do a tiny bit of a stronger pink. Add a tiny bit more red, you get a bit stronger pink. And I'm going to, with quite a watery brush, I'm going to put that on. Makes it look like she's blushing. And I might put that on the front of there. And maybe even on the very tips of her ears. And up by her trotters as well. Oh, I forgot her curly whirly tail. Add that in. How are we doing? Have you had to pause a lot? That's okay. Remember, I'm really old, so I've had many years of practice. And then, just to finish it off, I'm going to put some little red rosies. Little dots of red rosies on her outfit to make her look pretty. And that's it. Thank you very, very much for listening. Next week, I'll be drawing something different, so it would be really good if you came and joined in.